All right, guys, so <clears throat> time for that big update that I promised. And as you can tell from the title, this will be part one of two um, because as you guys know, it's been a while since I've done an update and <clears throat> I am I just came off or came back from two um, big metal festivals. So I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of shit since then. So, um, yeah, let's stop bullshitting and get started. So, as I mentioned, there's a lot of shit. So, um, if I give a wrong piece of information, I'm sorry. You can feel free to correct me in the comments. You guys know, you guys know me pretty well by now. I don't really prepare for these videos a whole lot. I just kind of wing it. So, yeah. But, um, this is part one, so... Um, in this part, I'm just going to show the CDs and tapes, and then part two will be the vinyl. Alright, let's get started. Uh, first off, we have Akitsa with uh, Credo. This is their newest full length from last year, um, I believe. So, um, I wasn't that big on Akitsa when I first heard them, and... I kind of picked this up at, or I picked this up at the, uh, Hell's Headbangers, uh, merch, uh, table at, uh, MDF, and I was just decided just to, you know, give it a chance, and, um, I'm glad I did, because this is pretty good, um, it's nothing really amazing, and, um, I know Akitsa is kind of one of those bands that's kind of all over the place, um, you know, they, they do a bunch of different styles and it's definitely, uh, present on this full length. So, um, if you guys haven't heard it, check it out. It's pretty good stuff. Um, yeah. And then the kits is from Canada. Um, I know there is a certain YouTuber that really loves the kits. So I'm sure most of you guys are probably already familiar with them, but, uh, yeah, that's a kits with Credo. Next up, we have uh, Armageddon with uh, Zeke Heil, 666, The Awakening of the Baphomets. And I can't read that fucking last word for the life of me. Yeah, I can't fucking read that shit, but whatever. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so I, uh, I showed something by Armageddon in my last update, I think it was. Um, I showed their newest full length. Uh, really nice pro tape there and uh but if you missed that update um these guys are from france and um as you can probably already tell by the title of the album yeah they're you know on the ns side of things um but this band is fucking worth checking out if you're even if you're not into that whole into nsbm this band is so worth putting aside your, you know, putting aside, you know, all that shit and just checking them out. That this this band is just flawless, perfect. I, I don't think these guys put out one bad one bad release or have put out one bad release. But yeah, um, this tape was put out through Hoswig. Yeah, Housewake Productions, which I've mentioned them a couple of times. But yeah, definitely do, go do yourself a favor and um, check out Armageddon. Um, I don't remember where this lies in their discography, but um, just go fucking check them out. Armageddon's a fantastic band. And next up we have uh, some... <laughs> my dog. I'm gonna wait till she stops barking because I don't feel like talking over her bark. Hey! Inferno! It's probably the mailman. She loves barking at the mailman. It's like she she sees this guy every fucking day, but she still barks at him regardless. I I don't get it, but whatever. 
But uh, anyways, let's continue. Like I said, I have some Canadian black metal. This is Drakir with the only piece you'll know is in the grave. Um, so this is Jesse from Black Metal Rebellion. This is his one-man black metal project. And um, so I really liked the EP that he put out last year. I think it was last year. No, that would have been in 2017 because this came out late last year. Uh, I really liked uh, that first EP he put out. Um, I'll be honest, when I first, uh, and this is his first full length, I'm pretty sure it's a full length. I can't remember if this is considered a full length or an EP. I'm pretty sure it's a full length, though. Um, at first, when I first listened to it, I wasn't really that into it. I didn't really think it was that good. Um, but then, after I bought the tape from him to, you know, kind of support him and help him out, um, and I listened to it and I was like, I was like, wow, this is actually a lot better than I remember it being. Um, there's a lot of good riffs on here, which is important. Um, and the style is, uh, for the most part, the style, the styles kind of change up from song to song. Um, as well as like the lyrical content, which is not really something you see a whole lot of black metal bands do. Um... So I definitely have to give him props for that. But uh, yeah, it comes on uh, this red tape. And it's just got a J card here. Picture of him on the back. And he signed it for me and shit. And then uh, these, this was limited to 10 copies. I have number five. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I think the main reason why I didn't really, I wasn't really a big fan of this at first was because it was so much different than what he had done on the first EP. The first EP was very much more on like the DSBM side, and then this, not really so much. This is kind of, like I said, this is kind of uh, explores different styles and lyrical contents on each song, so it was just different, and I wasn't really expecting it. But, um, yeah, overall, very good release. Um, go check it out. I, rec I definitely recommend at least giving it a listen. And if you like it, um, go buy a CD, go buy a tape, whatever's still available. And, uh, yeah. All right, next up. We got some French black metal. This is Crystal Knot with Creation Through Destruction. This is an EP that I do not remember the year it came out. 2000 something, I don't fucking know. Nice booklet folds out there. Um, there is a, <laughs> there's an interesting cover of Breaking the Law in here by Judas Priest that I, that I really enjoyed. Um, so in the liner notes here in the booklet it says, Breaking the Law was recorded as a tribute to heavy metal that I started to listen that I started to listen when I was, it should say, when I started to listen to when I was 11 years old in 1988. I can say I grew up with metal, music, and culture, so hail Judas Priest, Man of War, Iron Maiden, Halloween, etc. But yeah, uh, I just thought that was interesting. But yeah, um, really good EP. Um, I, really, I love Crystal Knot, fantastic band, and yeah, you can tell from the name of the band that these guys are NS, but whatever. Um, and one of the guys, one of the dudes from Signer Voland, this is, this was another one of his projects, and they actually did, when I saw, uh, Signer Voland at Steelfest, they actually did a Crystal Knot song, I don't remember which one it was, uh, but they actually did do a Crystal Knot song, which was very cool, but yeah, um, if you're looking for some more obscure French black metal to check out, Crystal Knot should definitely be under your radar. So, yep, that is uh, Crystal Knot with Creation Through Destruction. All right, next up we have Alter Tomb with Necrovortex. This is their latest full length from last year. So I caught these guys at uh, MDF. I watched their set. Really nice pro printed tape there. And they are very, very good. So I decided to buy uh, this tape. 
at their merch table. Um, so basically, if you like old school, like Swedish death metal, like old entombed, uh, grave and shit like that, um, this, this shit is right up your alley. Um, these guys are from Canada, but, um, but like I said, it, it's just straight up old school Swedish death metal worship. So, um, if that strikes your fancy, then definitely go check out Oter Tomb. Fantastic band. Definitely recommend it. So, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, and uh, the next couple of tapes are another band that I saw while I was uh, at MDF. Uh, this is Vanum with Realm of Sacrifice. This is their first full length from two, I want to say 2015. I'm pretty sure that's right. Nice uh, pro printed tape. I know it's kind of hard to see. Nice booklet, lyrics in there. So Vanum plays atmospheric black metal and they do a very good job of it. Oh, excuse me. Definitely. Um, and atmospheric black metal is a really common thing here in the States. So I don't want to say they sound like them, but like for fans of like Wolves in the Throne Room and shit like that, definitely check out Vanum. I feel like you people that like that, people that like Wolves in the Throne Room will, would really like this band. But um, yeah, just... Great atmospheric black metal, great stuff. These guys were also great live. So check them out if you haven't. That's Vanum with Realm of Sacrifice. And I also picked up um, their EP, Burning Arrow, which is another great release. I think this EP came out in 2017. They also released a full length last year. I think it was last year. I can't remember if it was this year or last year. And I don't remember the name of it. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but fuck, yeah, I can't remember. Um, I have not checked that album out yet, but I'm definitely going to whenever I get a chance. But yeah, if you're looking for a new atmospheric black metal band to check out, this is definitely one that should be on your list. That's Vanum, Burning Arrow, and that is it for the tapes. And we have a shit ton of CDs here to show, so I'm, I'm going to try and fucking just blow through these. Um, this is Arcanum with Den Forstfod. I don't know, I probably didn't pronounce that right. Uh, if you're not familiar with Arcanum, 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 I don't know how it's pronounced. I usually pronounce it Arcanum, but it might be pronounced Arcanum. I don't know. Uh, Swedish black metal. Um, I believe this is the the newest full length. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with their discography. I picked this up at one of the merch tables at MDF. I don't remember which one. And I basically just picked it up because I did not have anything by this band. And I've, I've mainly been on the lookout for their first few full lengths because those are fucking fantastic and those need a, a reissue desperately. Like, goddamn. Like, the first... Like, this this is pretty good, but the first three Arcanum albums are so good. Like, I... Those need a reissue so fucking badly. I can't stress that enough. Um, but this is still good, too. Just, like I said, just those first those first few albums are just really something. But yeah, definitely a band worth checking out if you haven't. That's Arcanum with Den Forstfod. Next up, we have Argus Lent with Galloping Through the Battle Ruins. So I know uh, these guys get talked about a lot, so not really a whole lot to say about them. Um, death Metal from the U.S., Melodic Death Metal, whatever. Very good band, very, very, very good riffs. Um, no picture there behind the disc, kind of hard to see. But yeah. Got a booklet here. Uh, 
I'm not going to show all the pages, but you guys get the fucking gist of it. But yeah. Um, I, and I know some people might be on the fence when it comes to this band just because of the whole ideology, but if you can get past that, the music is fucking awesome, and that is what matters. So, do yourself a favor, go check out Argus Line if you haven't. Awesome band. Next up, we have some Greek black metal. This is Dodsford with Desecrating the Spirit of Life. This is the first Dodsford full length. Um, I can't say that this is the some of his best work, because it's definitely not. Um, but it's still pretty decent for what it is. And Dotsford actually put out a new full length last year. I think I haven't heard the whole thing. I think I just listened to one of the songs and it was pretty good. Um, definitely a lot better than uh, what's on here, but uh, still pretty decent black metal nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> the Dod Dodsford albums I would recommend are Fucking Your Creation and, um, fuck, what's the name of that other one? Um, Death Set the Beginning of My Journey, I think that's what it was called. Those two are probably my favorites, but, um, yeah. Definitely go give Dodds for a listen if you haven't. Like I said, this one is, this one's okay, it's just not his best. It's definitely not his best stuff. <clears throat> All right, next we have Droop with The Swan Road. So this was picked up at the Season of Mist um, booth at MDF. And the main reason why I bought this is because I couldn't remember if I had this on vinyl or not, which when I got home, I later found out that I did have it. I couldn't fucking remember for the life of me because I have a bunch of Drooped albums on vinyl, but I couldn't remember if I had this one. So I was just like, fuck it. I'll just go ahead and buy it anyways. It's still a great album. Because I've, I've kind of been trying not to buy... Like, if I already have it on one format, I've really been trying not to fucking buy it again on a different format because it's just, a lot of times it just seems a lot of pointless, or just seems pretty pointless, but whatever. But yeah, um, y'all should y'all should be familiar with Drew. I talk about him a lot. Excellent. Ukrainian black metal. Definitely a must-listen. And this one I knew for a fact I didn't have. This is Songs of Grief and Solitude. This album is... I really fucking like this album. This is probably my second favorite after uh, Autumn Aurora. And uh, Season of Mist has really been keeping up with the reissues uh, for, for the Droot stuff, which is awesome. Like, I think they just announced a handful of stars vinyl reissue, so that's good. Yep. All right. I did have some uh, blind buys, <clears throat> and this was one of them. This is uh, Forgeord. I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's spelt F-O-R-G-J-O-R-D, so it's either Forgeord or Forgeord. I don't know if the J is supposed to be silent or not, but whatever. <laughs> but anyways, and I definitely cannot pronounce the name of the album. But uh, this is the newest full length from this band, and these guys are from Finland. Um, This was really good. I was really impressed by this shit. Just good old... Uh, Finish black metal. And uh, this is a Werewolf Records release too. So. <clears throat> Pretty much anything that um, Lori releases is usually gold. So.
But yeah, go check that out if you haven't. Good shit. There's going to be a lot of links in the description, that's for sure. Because there's so much shit. Alright, next up we have... Crota with Cry To Me A River. Interesting title name. Uh, so I believe this is Crota's first full length. I could be wrong. Comes in this uh, decent digipack. I don't know, you guys know how I feel about digipacks. And the fucking booklet is attached to the digipack. Which I guess can be somewhat convenient. So, I have talked about Crota before, but it's been a while. Basically, just think Nocturnal Mortem without the symphonic shit, and that's basically what Crota is. So, if you like Nocturnal Mortem, Crota's definitely right up your alley. So, go check them out if you haven't. And I also picked up another one of their full lengths uh, towards the f Furnament's Verge of Life. I think that's what it's called. And this is, again, this is also like the other one. Got the uh, attached booklet there. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. And here um, was another blind pickup. I got to make sure I pronounce this shit right. Okay. This is Kyprian Circle with their newest EP. Again, another Werewolf Records release. Nordic Dark Metal. This is really fucking good. This is excellent, excellent uh, finished black metal. I just, I was really impressed by this release. I just got lyrics and shit inside the booklet, which do me no good because I don't speak Finnish. <laughs> so, you guys know how that goes. But yeah, definitely, definitely worth checking out if you haven't. That's Kyprian's Circle. God, I'm only like halfway through the fucking CDs, man. This is ridiculous. All right. Next up, we have Merrimack with Ashes of Purification. This is Merrimack's debut album, and if you're not familiar with them, they are a black metal band from France. So this was also picked up at the Season of Mist merch booth, because these and these guys played MD or played MDF as well. Um, I thought they were okay. I didn't think they were amazing live, but they were pretty good. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you're looking for some new uh, French bands to discover. These guys are definitely uh, definitely worth uh, some attention. <clears throat> so, yep, that's Merrimack with Ashes of Purification. And next up, we have some more Finnish black metal. This is Morgal with their self-titled EP uh, that I believe was released last year. Again, released through Werewolf Records. And it comes on fucking uh, one of the tiny fucking discs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they went that route, but whatever. Picture there behind the disc. So, Morgul is basically like, they play kind of like, a heavy metal style of black metal. It's really hard to explain. Like, it's still, like, when you listen to it, you can fucking tell these guys are from Finland. Let, let's just say that. Like, you, like when you first, when you hear the first song, you can definitely tell these guys are from Finland. So I'll just, I'll just leave that out there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely go check out Morgul if you haven't. These guys were fucking awesome at Steel Fest. Um, great live performance, great band. That's Morgul. All right, next up. So this one's probably going to cause a little bit of a, a, um, a wrestle in the comments. This is Noctomistium with Eulogy 4. So this was at one of the merch stands, one of the miscellaneous merch stands at MDF. It was 
I think this was like six bucks, and I didn't have anything by Noctmistium, so I just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this." <clears throat> and I'll be honest, I'm not super familiar with Noctmistium. Um, I just haven't really had a whole lot of opportunity to go through their discography. Um, so I couldn't even tell you where this album falls in their discography, but. I can tell you that this is a good album. Um, a lot of good riffs on here. Um, a lot of Burrs and Worship on here. There's actually a fucking couple of covers on here. If I can fucking remember. If I can find the damn... Yeah, there's a Burzum cover on here. And a Vaughn cover. And then uh, this CD was released through Southern Lord, limited to a thousand copies, and this is number eight sixty eight. Yeah, but um, yeah, like I said, I'm not too familiar with Noctomistium. I've heard some of their stuff, just not a shit ton of it. So yeah, good band, despite what you think of you know Blake Judd. Um, he made some good shit with Noctomistium. So yeah. Alrighty, so the next couple CDs are both by the same band. Another band I saw at Steel Fest and probably one of my favorite performances. So <clears throat> I got to meet Ash while I was in Steel Fest and he signed a couple CDs for me. Um, this is the Amarok compilation, which is basically just a compilation of like demos and shit like that. And um, he signed this one as Canwolf. That, as we all know, he no longer goes by that stage name. He goes by Ash now. Yeah. Booklet. Picture of him on the back there. So, fucking funny thing. So, we got to talk to him for a couple minutes. We didn't have a whole lot of time because there were other people that were waiting in line. But come to find out that um, Ash actually lives in Farmington, Missouri, which is about an hour and a half to two hours from where I live. Um, so, I just, me and my roommate kind of thought that was hilarious. Like, out of all the fucking places in the world he could fucking live. The dude from Nargroth lives literally a couple hours away from us. I, we just thought that was crazy. Um, and for those of you wondering if Nargroth will ever play the States, probably not. We asked him because there was, Nargroth was supposed to do a, like a mini U.S. tour. Uh, was it last year? Or was it the year before? No, it was last year. Um, and it got canceled. So we asked him what the deal with that was, and he said it was because of Antifa and, you know, all that shit. Whatever, I guess, maybe, I'm just kind of going out, I'm just kind of maybe just speculating a bit here, but uh, maybe because of venues and promoters not wanting to fuck with that. So he said that it probably won't ever happen just because it's not worth it dealing with all that bullshit so we'll probably never see Nargroth play live in the states but it is what it is so yeah and I also picked up uh, Semper Fidelis which is like the fifth Nargroth full length and uh, he signed this one as Ash that there behind a disc. So yeah, 
there's that. All right, next up. This one's actually a Discogs pickup. This is Cetherio with Hell Eternal. So yeah, I found this for pretty fucking cheap on Discogs, so I said, fuck it, I don't have this album. I'm going to pick it up. Cetherial are pretty well known at this point. Just fucking straightforward Swedish black metal. With no bullshit attached to it. <laughs> And I believe this is their second full length. I hope I'm right about that. So yeah, there's that. Try to speed this up a bit here. All right, next up we have Stalfront with their newest full length, uh, Religion de Blutes. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but whatever. But yeah, this is Stalfront's uh, newest full length from last year. I think it came out last year. Don't know. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, Stalfront is from Germany. Excellent, excellent, really fucking uh, like melodic, especially like especially this one. Like on their on the full length that came before this, um, not so much, but on this one very melodic just a lot more melodic than the first one that's for sure and just fucking riffs galore on here too so definitely go check this shit out if you haven't that's stuff front and like I said, guys, I know I'm going through these kind of fast, but don't worry, there will be links in the description. All right, so next up we have Storm Height, which with an album title that I'm not going to try and pronounce. So this is the first Storm Height full length, um, but it was under a different title. But when they reissued it, uh, they reissued it under a different title. I don't know what the reason behind that was, but uh, whatever. So, um... This is the Storm Height from who plays live with a uh, Goat Moon. He also plays live for Der Sturmer, I think, too, um, or plays with them live. <clears throat> but not a whole lot of people talk about his solo project, and it's a damn shame because um, his solo shit is really good. It's just kind of folky um, black metal, except there are no like there's there's no like harsh vocals on here it's all clean vocals so the music like the instruments a lot of the instrumentation is black metal but the vocals are not but i definitely recommend checking this out especially if you like folk folky kind of black metal so, like, you know, definitely recommended for fans of, like, Goat Moon and shit like that. But, uh, yeah. Awesome stuff. Go check out Storm Hide if you haven't. Next up, we have Thy Serpent with Frozen Memory and Into Everlasting Fire. So, this is the compilation that was just released, I believe, earlier this year. Uh, limited to 300 copies. And I have number 197. So, um, a lot of the pickups that you're going to see, in which, and I haven't really mentioned which ones they were, um, so I went to Cult Records when I was in Finland for Steel Fest. Um, the last day I was in Finland, or the last full day we were in Finland, we went to, to downtown Helsinki, and we went to Cult Records, which is basically strictly a black metal shop. Um, I had posted pictures of it on my Facebook. Facebook page. So if you're friends with me on Facebook, um, you would have seen those pictures. And this is where I picked that up from. And also the record shop is owned by um, the guy from Thy Serpent. But this was one of the pickups when I was there. And just like, holy fuck, dude, if I'm so glad that we don't have a record store like that anywhere around here because holy shit dude i would be broke every single month 
if we had a record store. Like, um, I had to, I, I had to restrain myself from, I, I easily could have spent like a thousand dollars plus there. Easily. But I, I had to fucking restrain myself. It was just, God. It was, yeah. <laughs> just, that place is like a black metal fan's, like, wet dream. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's it's just, it's awesome. And what was cool, too, was they were doing a discount uh, that day for, uh, for this, for Steel, because of Steel Fest. So that was really cool. So yeah, got a booklet with a bunch of old pictures and shit. Very cool. And maybe we'll get lucky one of these one of these days, and Thy Serpent will decide to play a live show and play Steel Fest. That would be awesome. But whatever. So yeah, there's that. And um, I I don't remember where I picked this one up at. It was one of the merch. It was one of the merch stands at a Steel Fest. This is Thy Serpent with Forests of, Forests of Witchery, uh, the first full length. Amazing, amazing album. God. Definitely a band you do not want to sleep on if you have not heard them. They are fantastic. Especially recommended for fans that for fans of melodic black metal. This is definitely right up your alley. <clears throat> All right, just got a couple left. Uh, this is a uh, Discogs pickup, I think. Either Discogs or eBay. Varg Sang, Call of the Night Wolves. I've talked about Varg Sang a while back. Um, excellent German black metal. Definitely one of my favorites. Just fucking raw, great riffs. Just one booklet there. Highly, highly recommend checking out Varg Sang if you haven't. Alrighty, and the last CD. So this one is actually a split. This is a split between Wander and Winter Moon. So I think I think this split came out. Uh, this is a Werewolf Records release. I think this is this. I think this was probably a reissue. I uh, a CD reissue. I don't. I don't know if the original came out on Werewolf Records or not. But um, this is a split from like 2008, from what I've read. Uh, both are Finnish bands, and both are great. Um, I definitely preferred the uh, Winter Moon stuff over the Wander, but both bands do a great job on the split regardless. You can actually, if you look close enough in here, you can actually see two guys in like the fog or whatever, which is kind of cool. pictures and shit in there yeah yeah definitely worth checking out that's wander and winter moon split and yeah that is it guys so it's a good thing i had this video or had this update into two parts otherwise goddamn, the update would have been like the video alone would have been like over an hour um, so yeah, um, all, all links will be in the description, because like I said, I went through these kind of fast, but I kind of had to. Um, but yeah, so let's end it. This video is already almost 40 minutes, so thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging around. If you stuck through the whole fucking video, thanks, and uh, I'll see you in part two.